Wind-generated energy represents one of the largest components of renewable energy and is said to be one of the most cost-effective options for new grid-based power. However, wind-based energy has high costs in terms of materials, territory requirements, and suffers from low-generated power density 200 to 300 times lower than that of thermal plants. Kaichen is an Italian-based company founded in 2007 that aims to use kites to generate energy from the wind. Compared to wind turbines, this system will have between 50 to 100 times lower territorial occupation and 10 to 20 times lower cost for energy production. The kite currently has a max height of 300 meters, spans an area of 100 meters squared, and has a mass of 50 kilograms. KiteGen optimized the shape of the kite for energy generation and added flexible joints which allow the kite system to vary wind lift factor. The kite system is made up of the traction phase, when the kite flies away from the generator and generates energy by pulling on a tether, and the drag phase, when the kite is pulled back. After the drag phase, the kite can repeat the cycle with a new traction phase. The big question here is, how do you minimize the energy needed to pull the kite back for a traction phase? A non-linear model, predictive control is used to guide the kite back while minimizing the energy spent. For each time step, the algorithm calculates a control move that will set the kite onto a more favorable flight path. It alters the kite path by pulling on tethers anchored along the kite. The system can function at a kite speed of 200 to 250 kilometers per hour. For comparison, the functional limit of wind turbines in Ilocos Norte is 72 kilometers per hour and they, these need to be shut off at higher wind speeds. This means the kite system still works during periods of high energy wind. The kites by Canale et al. generate a peak energy of 1,000 kilowatts. For comparison, a typical solar cell only produces 320 kilowatts. Repair costs are not a problem either, as no expensive steel composites are used and the tether is relatively cheap. Energy costs from the kite system start at $60 to the megawatt and drop below $50 to the megawatt in the next 10 years. For comparison, wind farms sell energy at twice the forecasted price of the KiteGen system. Low territorial requirements are also a plus, as a 5 meter squared KiteGen power station produces as much nominal energy as a 40 square meter wind farm. Mario Milanese has been aggressively patenting the control system technology, which he patented at the World Intellectual Property Organization in 2007, in the US in 2012, and in Denmark in 2015. So what can we do with this idea? Canale et al. conceptualized a kite gen plant that will increase mean power to 1000 megawatts, more than 20 times the power generated in their paper. This plant will have 100 kites with areas of 500 square meters anchored on a 1.5 kilometer radius carousel. Territorial occupation is expected to be 50 times lower and costs about 30 times less than a wind farm of the same nominal power. A local version can be developed in the Philippines where our islands can serve as ideal windy locations. The kite's operating hours are not limited by daylight hours either, providing reliable power to Filipinos.